Welcome to Acquia Engage. We're excited to have you here with us today. Uh, it's been a year since I was on stage and so much has changed. Um, but despite everything happening in the world, at Acquia we've been innovating faster than ever before. And today I'm gonna walk you through some of the most critical innovations, first with the Drupal Cloud and then with our Marketing Cloud. And along the way, I'll be joined by Eric to walk us through some of the demos of the things that we are launching today. So let's start about the Drupal Cloud. For us, the Drupal Cloud is all about managing complexity and helping you go faster. And if you think about what's happening in the world right now, you know, on the one hand, sites are becoming more and more complex. Sites used to be static, and now they've become dynamic, where you have to do personalization, you have to think about different modalities like voice and chat and obviously mobile apps. You have to do all of these extra things that you didn't have to do 10 years ago. But it's not just that. In addition, most organizations also have many more sites. And typically, for most companies, these sites use different technologies, often legacy systems uh, under the hood. And at Acquia, we have been very focused on helping to simplify all of that by standardizing on Drupal and standardizing on the Acquia Cloud, we can help you simplify everything from training to reducing maintenance cost to streamlining security to optimizing your internal resources. All of that can be simplified and effectively allows you to do more and to go faster. So today, let's talk about five new product innovations that help you go even faster. Before I talk about that, I wanted to remind you that one of the most exciting things that has happened is the release of Drupal 9 just a couple months ago. And despite everything in the world, we released Drupal 9 on time, and it's awesome. It's jam-packed with new features, and I can proudly say it's the best enterprise content management system in the world. And so at Acqui, I've been thinking about how can we get as many people onto Drupal 9 as quickly and easily as possible. And if you think about the ways to get to Drupal 9, there's effectively three ways. You can upgrade from Drupal 8, you can migrate from a non-Drupal site to Drupal 9, or some of you are still using Drupal 7, and that's a harder migration path as well. And so we've been focused on all three of those paths. And so we're proud to announce Acquia Migrate Acquia Migrate is a suite or collection of products that help you migrate to Drupal. It doesn't matter where you come from. So the first path is actually the path from Drupal 8 to Drupal 9. And we worked hard with the Drupal community to solve that and make the upgrade from Drupal 8 to 9 easy out of the box. And Acquia was a top contributor to that initiative. For migrations from non-Drupal site to Drupal 9, you know, we have Migrate, and it helps you become a lot faster, up to five times faster to migrate uh, to Drupal 9 with our tools versus doing it yourself by hand. And finally, the path from Drupal 7 to 9, we've also found a way to accelerate that dramatically. And combined with other products like Aquisite Studio, it can reduce these efforts even more. So let's take a quick look at how Acquia Migrate works. Thanks, Dries. I'm excited to be here today, and I'm even more excited to start talking about Acquia Migrate. So as Dries mentioned, what Acquia Migrate Accelerate is, is a tool for performing Drupal 7 to Drupal 9 migrations up to 50% faster on Acquia Cloud. So we automate as much as possible the migration of your content, of your configuration, of your community code. And for the things we can't automate, we're going to provide guidance to help you complete your migration. Migrate provides a UI to give you a visual way to migrate all your sites. We provide a dedicated cloud environment so that you can work on your migration and keep your production site up and running simultaneously. The migration dashboard allows you to import or roll back migrations and gives you an overview of your content migration progress so far. You can also preview data before it's migrated, both raw before and after values, as well as rendered preview to check for any content issues like broken images. And if you care about one particular piece of content, you can search for that by URL. So while we try to automate as much of the migration as possible, there's always potential issues. The Messages console will show any errors encountered during a migration. The most common errors have an Acquia recommended solution that gives next steps. 
You can also filter messages, for example, to check on data integrity issues that are present on your Drupal 7 site. Now, for your community code, our module recommendation engine automatically downloads the best Drupal 9 modules for your Drupal 7 site's functionality. And we pre-install any modules and patches that our team has carefully reviewed. For custom code, we point you off to helpers like Drupal Module Upgrader and for Acquia Site Studio. The power of Drupal's migration developer tools wrapped in a workspace accessible to site builders. It's Acquia Migrate Accelerate. That's awesome. Thank you, Eric. Um, the good news is the Drupal 8 to Drupal 9 upgrade path, it's available today. Acquia Migrate from non-Drupal to Drupal, available today. And Acquia Migrate, what Eric just demoed, will be available uh, in Q1 of uh, 2020 with an early access program this quarter. It will become available for all of our customers at no additional cost. All right, so that's Acquia Migrate, our first announcement. We think it's a total game changer. So let's move on to the next announcement. The next announcement is about development. And I'm a developer myself, so I know how hard it is to set up a local development environment. I've done this maybe 100 times in my life. And every time I do that, I forget about certain things. I have to go research uh, all the things I need. I have to download the different parts. I have to install it. I have to configure it. And it can be a lot of work. It can literally take me days to get it right. And it's not just that. Even when you have your local development environment set up, that environment is not always an exact match of the environment in the Drupal Cloud. And so that provides additional roadblocks that you need to work on. And so all of that takes time. And so at Acquia, we asked ourselves, what could we do to get a developer set up in 60 seconds or less. How can we make it so that they never have to update or reconfigure their development environments? And that's where Aquis Cloud IDE comes into play. That pain is now gone. With Aquia Cloud IDE, we deliver a cloud-based development environment. It enables developers to write code and use the command line all from within their browser. No setup is required. It's obviously fully optimized for Drupal, and it integrates fully with our Acquia Cloud. And it even goes a step further and implements many of Drupal's best practices, um, making it really easy for your developers to get up and running. So let's watch a demo of this as well. Acquia Cloud IDE is the best development environment for building Drupal applications. Gone are the days that Dries talked about, downloading, installing, and configuring development software on your own computer. Now you can write code in the cloud. Creating a brand new Drupal site in a brand new environment is simple. Log in with your Acquia Drupal Cloud account, click the Add IDE button, and you'll have a Drupal optimized development environment within minutes. You're free to download, install, and configure themes and modules. And when it's time to write custom code, you can write it directly in the browser. If you had a snag in your code, we've got debugging tools, pre-installed and pre-configured. With Xdebug, you can set a breakpoint and step through your code line by line to diagnose the problem and fix it, and even use a built-in terminal. The IDE is stocked with all the Drupal development tools you could need. And when you're done with your work, push changes upstream and deploy to production as usual. Cloud IDE is fully integrated into your existing development workflow. It's your development environment. But now, it's in the cloud. All right, isn't that awesome? Um, the good news is you can actually get started now. It's available today. And so if you wanted to, you can log into the Drupal Cloud UI and spin up your Drupal site in an Acquia Cloud IDE right now. All right, so that's our second announcement. Next up is our third announcement, introducing Acquia CMS. We think this is a big deal too, obviously, we believe Drupal is the most powerful, most flexible CMS in the world. But for many years now, our customers and our partners, they've been asking us for a more opinionated version of Drupal. Why? Well, so they have to do fewer things themselves. Right now, you still have to put a lot of things together before you can really get going, whether you're a developer or a marketer. And so I'm proud to announce that we've addressed that problem with Acquia CMS, specifically, Acquia CMS comes with a lot of out-of-the-box capabilities. It's pre-integrated with Acquia's products, such as Site Studio or Search or Content Hub. The list goes on. And some of you might wonder, what's the difference with Lightning? Or what's the difference with Drupal? 
And the difference is that we made it a lot easier to use out of the box. We also made it faster out of the box. It comes with better performance. We made it more enterprise ready and we made it a lot easier to start with. And as I mentioned, it comes with all of the Acquia connectors pre-integrated. So let's take a look at Acquia CMS as well. Okay, Dries, this is big news about Acquia CMS. So now building sites on the Acquia platform is faster and easier than ever. What Acquia CMS does is provide an out-of-the-box website experience, as well as starting page templates, components, content types, and much more. It will enable folks to instantly access the full power of Drupal and the Acquia platform. It'll be curated and maintained by Acquia and comes pre-integrated with Acquia products. Here you can see how Acquia CMS is integrated with Site Studio so that site builders and marketers can embrace the power of low code, page creation, and editing, making it easy to add images or to change fonts. And it's also integrated with the newly updated Acquia Search so that users can easily find and discover content most relevant to them. Acquia CMS is a distribution of Drupal that makes it easier than ever to build, operate, and enhance Drupal applications. That's right, Eric. And good news, it's available in beta right now. If that beta goes well, we should be in GA uh, early 2021. So if you want to be part of the beta program, just uh, reach out to us and uh, we'll help you get set up. Now, let's move on to the next announcement. And we've actually given you a little preview of it already in the previous demo video. So let's talk about Site Studio. Site Studio is an incredibly powerful tool for low-code, no-code site development. And it's been a year since we added Site Studio to our product family, and we've seen incredible momentum. Customers like Bayer's, Mars, CVS, Fidelity, and many more have adopted Site Studio. It literally exceeded even our best expectations. But we want to make it even better, so we want to continue to invest in Site Studio. So one of the key features of Site Studio is the page builder. And while it's no code, it's not WYSIWYG. So what that means is that it's more suited for site builders and developers, and it wasn't quite ready for marketers and content creators because they couldn't see in real time the changes that they were making to a page. And so we decided to fix that. And so happy to announce today that we are introducing a new front-end page builder that is completely WYSIWYG. What that means is you can see in real time the changes that are being made on a page, and it shows exactly how it will show on the final page. It couldn't be easier, and it couldn't be faster to work with. So Eric, let's take a look. Acquia Site Studio is built around components. And once you design a component, you can use them across multiple pages or multiple sites. Now, that is pretty smart. But what we're doing next is making these components even smarter by automating how they display. So if a marketer selects a darker background color for their component, a light font will be automatically selected, ensuring contrast and therefore accessibility is going to be maintained. Site Studio already provides drag and drop layouts for easier page building, but the new front end page builder allows marketers to operate in a visual format or a design mode. Now marketers can create landing pages by dragging and dropping components onto a page, and to move things higher or lower, they just drag and drop to its new position. In the visual interface, marketers can see the changes that they are making to pages in real time, and change the layout and styling of components and design. It's a fully WYSIWYG experience for marketers. So with all these great new updates to Site Studio, we've made it faster and easier for marketers and site builders to build reusable components and designs, all while maintaining and ensuring brand consistency for all the different pages and sites they develop. Awesome. Good news, it will be available um, in Q1. It's in beta right now, but early next year, we can put it in the hands of all of our customers. All right, we're really excited about Site Studio and the momentum that we have. Now, for our final announcement, let's talk about our Acquia Cloud or Drupal Cloud product. As you know, Acquia was born in the cloud. More than 10 years ago, we made a big bet on the cloud and we helped pioneer the delivery of Drupal in the cloud. And the result, after 10 years of investing and building our Acquia Cloud, we have the best cloud platform for hosting Drupal sites in the market today. But that doesn't mean we have to stop innovating. We continue to invest a lot in building out our Drupal hosting platform. 
And we're proud to announce what we call Acquia Cloud Next. It's an evolution of our Acquia Cloud that makes everything that we do already better. It's completely container-based. It will be faster, more secure, more elastic, and scales even bigger than what our Drupal Cloud scales today. So we're very excited about that. We are working on making it available in Q2 of 2021. We're already in beta with some of our customers, but it will be more broadly available in Q2. We look forward to helping you get on our next iteration of the Acquia Cloud. So these are the five product innovations in our Drupal Cloud. I'm very proud of those innovations. Um, and I hope you saw how each of those innovations will allow our customers to go faster to gain velocity. All right, so next, let's talk about the marketing cloud. For those of you that don't know what our marketing cloud is, it's a little bit newer. It's a collection of five different products. And while content is at the core of the Drupal cloud, data is at the core of our marketing cloud. And it all starts with the Acquia customer data platform, or our CDP, which you can see at the bottom of this diagram. And the CDP brings together user data from different systems, your CRM, your website, your point of sale, maybe an e-commerce website, brings all of that data together and then provides a unified user profile for all of your customers. And with really good data at the core, you know, marketers can now use activation tools like Campaign Studio to do multi-channel marketing or Acquia personalization to do website personalization. So let's take a look at how we're making our marketing cloud better and better so that marketers can be even smarter and more efficient in creating marketing campaigns. Today, the role of marketers is more important than ever. And to do that more important job, marketers use more and more tools. Now the problem that we see is that many of these tools aren't connected. They're silos. And the result of these silos is that user information, customer information is everywhere, that you don't really understand your users. There is no 360 analytics that shows you what customers are doing on different channels. And creating campaigns across all of these channels is very manual, laborious, and error prone. And so at Acquia, we asked the question, what can we do about that? Because it doesn't have to be this way. Right? So imagine a marketing cloud without silos, where profiles are unified versus fragmented, where you can see what customers are doing across every channel, and where customer experiences flow consistently from one channel to the other. And that's really what we're trying to do with our marketing cloud. And it's really shaking up the world of marketing clouds, right? because we're re-architecting our marketing cloud from the ground up layer by layer, we're rethinking how a marketing cloud should work. And the result is a fundamentally different and better approach to marketing. So let's talk a little bit about that. First, let's talk about our CDP, right? So CDPs, as I mentioned, they stitch profiles, user profiles together from multiple channels to create a single profile. And for traditional systems and other CDPs, Bringing that data together is often done in batches. It happens at night, typically on a weekend, and it's not unusual that profiles are only updated once a week. And that means that profiles are effectively outdated. And that can be a problem because if you want to build a great experience, that experience shouldn't happen a week after that it actually should. Great experiences are often instant. So when your customers make decisions in real time, you need to act in real time. And so what we've done is we've made our unified profiles real time. And with real time profiles, the actions of your customers appear within our 360 profile as they happen. And they can be accessed instantly for your campaigns. Now, we're very excited about that. And I bet you want to see a video. But before we can, I want to explain you something else. Right? And the reason is because unified real-time profiles doesn't solve the silo problem. It's part of it. Unfortunately, there's also isolated segments. What I mean by that is that segments need to be created in every tool. 
which means more work for marketers, but maybe more importantly, it means there is no unified state. And a customer can be in one segment, in one campaign on platform A, but could be in another segment going through another campaign in marketing tool B. It's a little bit like being in the car with many people and all of the people in the car trying to tell you which direction you need to drive in, right? It means you're not really leading the customer down to a single path and that ultimately impacts the customer experience. So we're very proud to be launching universal segments. What I mean by that? Well, when you use our marketing cloud, the Acquia marketing cloud, a segment in Acquia CDP also exists in Acquia personalization and also exists in the Acquia campaign studio. And so instead of every marketing tool pointing the customer in a different direction, all of our tools and all of our marketing teams are leading the customer down a single path. Now, I'm sure you want to see a demonstration of that as well, but wait, there's one more thing I would like to explain to you. Because real-time profiles, universal segments are great, but there is one other problem, and that problem is around analytics. And you guessed it, it's the same silos problem. Analytics live in their own tools. And so as a marketer, you can't really make sense of what's happening with your customers. You have to pull data together manually, maybe import data into a BI tool, build a homegrown dashboard. All of that is painful and slow and error prone. It leads to ineffective marketing, poor customer experiences, you name it. Well, not anymore. We're proud to announce 360 Marketing Analytics. What we're doing is we're bringing all of the analytics together and we can actually solve this problem at Acquia because we did the other two things first. It required us to solve the problem around unified real-time profiles and it required us to solve the universal segments problem. But now we've done that, we could also solve the analytics problem. And so what we've done is we brought together the analytics and reporting from Campaign Studio and Acquia Personalization into a single dashboard within our CDP. And so now with the analytical capabilities of the CDP, you can actually understand the return of inve on investment of your email marketing campaigns or website personalization and adjust them as needed, all from a single place. So now we've explained these three things, we can finally look at a quick demo. All right, Eric, let's take it away. The Acquia CDP resolves the data cobweb by cleansing, standardizing, and deduplicating data across all of your silos. So here I'm going to show you a profile. It's a 360 profile of one of your customers, Katie Cartwright. It includes your preferences, demographics, transaction history, digital touches, even real-world physical engagement with your brand. We can then intelligently dedupe data across all these silos to reveal the real Katie. Now, with an even more unified real-time profile, we can track Katie's digital activities and react accordingly with the most up-to-date information. In Katie's journey, we can see all of her recent engagement, and it looks like that she's just abandoned her cart. So when we go into our product recommendations for Katie, we're going to go in and see that what she abandoned, that watch, is something that was highly recommended for her. Now, this would make her an ideal candidate for a cart abandonment email, but not so fast. Following Katie's journey, it appears she instead purchased that item at a retail location. See, Acquia CDP captures this event in real time, automatically updates her profile, and then moves her out of the cart abandonment campaign and into a post-purchase product recommendations campaign. So with our universal segments, all this information isn't siloed within Acquia CDP. They are consistent and persistent across our integrated marketing cloud. So we can optimize all these campaigns based on the shared segments. And then when we're ready to launch the post-purchase campaign, all it takes is a simple click in Campaign Studio. And now we can turn what would have been a poor customer experience into an opportunity for conversion. Now, with Acquia's 360 analytics in our CDP, we can track down the campaign that we just launched in Campaign Studio. And we can see how Katie and others engaged with our message. 
we can dive deeper into these segments, gain more insight into the campaigns and what type of revenue they're driving. We can learn more about how segments engage with different channels, compare conversion rates across all your cross-channel campaigns to determine their effectiveness and gain insight into your most valuable and loyal customers. So with unified profiles, universal segments, and 360 analytics, marketers can gain more intelligence to build smarter campaigns and deliver more personalized experiences, all from one integrated marketing cloud. Awesome. We're very proud of that. We've worked on this for so long to finally be able to show you and unveil it. And it's even better than that. It's all available today uh, for marketing cloud customers. All right. The next challenge I want to talk about as it relates to the marketing cloud is scaling marketing campaigns. So even with all of that unification, there is still a lot of data. There's still many systems. There's still many touch points and channels. And there's still often thousands of customers. And so what that means, it's really hard to track of, keep track of all of these things. And that's really where machine learning can help us a lot. You know, machine learning algorithms, they provide automation, they can help you scale, they can give you new insights, they help you make better decisions. You know, all things that are hard to do in a manual fashion. And so Acquia Marketing Cloud actually already does a lot of machine learning. You know, in fact, we're recognized as leaders in machine learning. But that doesn't mean we're done, right? We already have pre-built models and we have an open approach so you can bring your own machine learning models. And as Acquia, we're also constantly adding more of these models for you to use. And so today we're announcing our latest model, which is called Predictive Sense. What that means is that we automatically learn the optimal time of day to send emails. So for example, the system may learn that Mike reads emails in the morning and that Lynn is better at reading and responding to emails at night. And then we will automatically send those emails at the right times. So let's take a quick look. True personalization is about sending the right content to the right person at the right time on the right channel. And the only way to do this at scale is with machine learning driven personalization. Acquia CDP machine learning engine computes the optimal send time for each user and then makes those predictions available in Campaign Studio. So when a marketer wants to create an email campaign, there's now an option to send that email at the recommended time for each user by only ticking a checkbox. Our predictive sends model helps marketers find the right time for each person, and it's just one of the many machine learning innovations that we're working on. Very cool. The good news, it's actually already available in our CDP product, but the rollout to Campaign Studio will be in Q1 uh, of next year. So it's coming really soon, and we hope you're as excited about it as we are. Now, let's quickly um, talk about the final announcement in this Innovation Showcase keynote. And this is one that I'm particularly proud of. As you all are aware, you know, the COVID-19 pandemic has impacted every aspect of our lives. And it has also impacted many, many organizations as well. And so what we've done at Acquia is we've worked very closely with our customers to help them navigate this difficult time. And I wanted to share an example of that. And Specifically, we partnered with several of our key customers to build a COVID-19 dashboard. The dashboard provides an in-depth analysis into the business impact of COVID-19, and it does that by providing over 60 reports that provide actionable insights to help you navigate this pandemic. Let's take a look at how it works. All right, Dries, this COVID analysis dashboard is awesome. It's a strategic guide for marketers to understand the business impacts of COVID-19 and identify the changes in consumer behavior. Now, as Dries mentioned, the dashboard includes nearly 60 valuable reports. But what I want to do is review some of the key insights that our customers are most excited about. When you look at all of your buyers who are retail-only shoppers until stores closed, you can now see who converted to being an omnichannel shopper. You also get a side-by-side -side comparison to last year so you can identify contributing factors to this conversion in terms of demographics and product preferences. At a single glance, you can also see the overall business impact of COVID, followed by the shift in product preferences both online and in-store during this time. And next, you can dive deeper into e-commerce, exploring its main drivers, providing insight into how sticky it is following store reopening, and get an in-depth breakdown of all your online buyers during COVID.
We can also evaluate acquisition and targeting, exploring your newly acquired customers during COVID, their retention rates and product preferences, and how that compares to previous acquisition trends. So your teams can pivot and build campaigns that can then respond to these trends. And lastly, you can see how quickly traditional retail is returning by navigating in-store reopenings across the business. All of the insights you need to make informed decisions and adapt to the dynamically changing landscape is right here in the COVID analysis dashboard. Very cool. We're very proud about all of the different ways that we've been helping our customers during this pandemic. And the COVID-19 dashboard is one example of that. And better yet, I don't believe any other CDP or any other marketing cloud in the market has delivered anything like this in the last few months. Uh, hopefully you can also see how we are re-architecting the marketing cloud from the ground up and how it results in a radically different approach to marketing, but also a radically better approach. We'll have smarter ways to create profile, better an analytics, better use of segments, and we have machine learning automations. So here's today's 10 announcements. I hope you're as excited about them as we are. I wanna thank all of the product and engineering teams at Acquia. They've worked incredibly hard in the midst of a pandemic to deliver all of this innovation. And I'd like to thank the entire Acquia team, our entire company for helping to bring this to life. As I mentioned in the beginning of the presentation, as a company, we're innovating more than ever. We're providing more value and differentiation to our customers than ever before. Now, if you wanna learn more about these 10 announcements or about the many things that I didn't talk about, uh, please come and check out the different track sessions in the next few days. Visit our innovation stations or set up a one-on-one -on -one appointment at our Genius Bar. There's many ways to learn about all of the things that we're doing. Thank you, and have a great rest of an Acquia Engage.